<laughs> yeah, because I've got the camera a bit different this time because it's usually I have it on this side, but it's on this side. I'm looking a bit funny with the eyes. It's just that I'm trying to uh, look at the camera, but um. Anyway, let's see who's in the chat because I'll be honest with you, I'll just flip it round. I do actually have. Oh, Patty, I've only just started. <laughs> All right, my geez. See if we could do it this way. Can we do it this way? Oh, I get an advert. No, just about actually. You know what? I think we should be all right. Yeah, that's better actually. Well, it's all right. I wasn't quite sure if it was going to hold or not. Yeah, it does look a bit dark. So that's just my laptop. But anyway, welcome to uh, this preview in live stream. It is a preview in. It's just that because I've got the phone hooked onto the laptop. Uh, let's see who's the chat although tico sprint is in the chat hi tico um oh i'll tell you what this is all through on the laptop you could i'll say actually before we get to the comments i'll put it on 720 when it loads up oh and this is my laptop right now. But it's not like that on my phone. It's actually literally clear. Go figure. It is a bit dark in here, but there's only like one light here. Is that better without that? Oh, that's better, yeah. Okay, we're doing it without the light. So I the light, I've got a desk light here. I had it on thinking, oh, yeah, it could give you some extra light, but no. Anyway, let's see who's in the, oh, I'm not even live. There we go. Let's see who's in the chat. Do apologize about, uh, I did say uh, let's see who's in the chat and I got distracted. But no, let's see who's deaf in the chat right now. So even Tico Sprint, uh, um, even Peppy, a new fan, I'm fine, thank you. Travelling with Alcatraz, good evening to you. Amateur Moon, good evening to you. We have a rescue dog for tonight. Hopefully, the dog's all right. Um, no to footage for the TFL farewell special. Yeah, your Francis Bourgeois was, um, I think that's how you say it, was there as well. I noticed it there uh, despite. Patches Stowers video. Um, I, yeah, Pep's talking to Tico. Um, yeah, well, oh, I've gone to the end. Leah Lashley's channel, so video quality is poor. Yes, I do know. Because I do know actually, because of that, believe it or not, now does it. I don't know why, because it's like it's all right here, but you can see it. Leah Lash's channel, so video quality is poor, yes. Yeah. Better was it was in Aldi as amateur, yes. Um, hello, Birdsy Rail. I'm all right, thank you. Uh, I'll just scroll up. Philip Pie, good evening to you. Oh, yes, now it's buffering. 
Now it's buffering. Right, yeah, let's see if I can have it low on mine. Change it to 360. Anyway, um, yes, good isolated. I honestly don't know. Because I've literally dropped it down to 360 and it's... Can we just say foes are pretty rubbish? In two weeks, there's Jack and Trace Butter. Um, how's your PO wall gates with WWE Cyber? I haven't watched it yet, but I have read results. Um, I need to watch it to literally tell you how it is. Uh, Richard Hutchinson, good evening. Low quality, yeah. I'll do a grade. Oh, yeah, I was gonna show you because this is the quality, might be a bit uh, bright. So, on the screen. It's clear on the laptop to read your comments. It's not good. I don't know if that's mm. plug it in, it doesn't really help, does it? No. Yeah, literally. Oh my days. That's uh, I don't know what's going on. Curry C quality is a bit crappy. Yeah, no. Oh, damn it. I was hoping to do a proper I'm sorry about the quality. I there's nothing I can do about the quality. It is absolutely shocking. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um <clears throat> yeah. Still pixel. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Uh, pitch is okay now, says Bertold Trent Railway. Oh, no, you, are you on the premium Wi-Fi? No, I'm on my uh, phone. The laptop's on premium. Um, Ollie, good evening to you. Where are you off to? Where are you off to? I just came back from Wally. You know what? I'm going to try the premium Wi-Fi. Give me... Two minutes. Right. Should be back. Oh. Um, how's that now? I've literally hooked it on the premium wire. Work is chaos, but there's a new place that is not good for communication. Cyber World's on his head there. That's better. Um, I booked on the I booked the one from Throne South. Better. Clear picture. Right, thank you. Sorry about that. I sincerely do apologize. So my phone Wi-Fi is no, my phone internet is rubbish. In this picture is a clear cyber. Right. I do apologise about that. Really, really sorry with the technical difficulties. But hopefully now it should be all right. Right. Okay, so it's a clear picture. Good. Right. Not good. Much better now. Please say that again. In this picture is a clear picture. It's more rubbish than the class three two ones. Um, oh, the bin's over there. I can't be bothered to get it. It's much better now. That is much better now. Right on, right. Yep, see much better. Right. So it was the phone um, internet connection that was rubbish. And the premium is better. Yeah, I can see it on here now. It's better. Because I'll show you again, actually, because I don't think you saw that. But this is the screen that I get on the phone. And you can tell that's clear. Right. 
if I'm in Premier Inns and I do Wi-Fi in the internet in the future, I'm just going to what does G Love use it? I think most um I think most use the Wi-Fi. The Premium Wi-Fi. Yeah, I can see your face, right. Do apologize about that. Right, 13 minutes in and it's been a really chaotic live stream already, has it? Right. Let's get down to business, shall we? And have a live stream. Yeah, I can see on here now. I'll show you quick. There you go. See, clear for me. Right. Um, right. Premier is bad, but not as bad as Class 172s. Um, it is mega clear there. Um, 41 4 is out next Saturday for Burton to Newcastle. It says uh, Burton upon Trent Railways. Um, Pep saying hello to Amatron. Amatron said she had a good time with the sleeper. Oh, yes, that um, really. Yeah, I do recommend to go and watch that. Um, hey, so have you ever been ticked off Bordsley? I have. I did it. I can't remember what year I did it, but I have been to Bordsley. I was staying in a Premier yesterday as well, says so Peppy, have you found? Stop looking at yourself, Cyber. Yes, Tico, stop looking at myself. Um, so, yes, if you have joined, we had about 30 minutes of chaos trying to get the Wi-Fi sorted for the internet. But no, I, I have done today. I have been here for the past two days, Wally. Wally's back on after a two-year absence thanks to COVID. And I was there for the weekend. I met a lot of people at Wally. I met Sam's blog days and more there. I met, uh, I think it's all about trains. I met uh, Peter Jackson, Cheadle Heath there. I met Jenny Kirk. I met Jay's pets, and I and I approve of Jay's pets. If you're in the Monday Club, you will get that joke. Um, Iron Horse Railway. I met. I met Matt Slade. I met um, Warbird Warbird Productions. In fact, I'll tell you a quick story. Actually, yesterday. Oh yeah, because I did share a photo. Let me just go on with Twitter in a second. I'll show you. I don't know if you've seen this yet, but um, oh, that's so much better. Uh, what was it? Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? There. If it loads up, I'll show you in a second. Because there's a picture of me on a bus. The to uh, here we go. It should be showing now. Here we go. I'll show you this picture now for a laugh. Because on my Twitter, I posted this photo. <laughs> it looks like a selfie of can't be bothered to look. <laughs> oh, but anyway, oh, there we go. I'll just put that there, right? So the story behind that, got to uh, the bus interchange at Birmingham International. And uh, Warbur Warburger Productions and that Slade was there and they were waiting for a bus to get to Coventry. And I got there waiting for the half past six bus, but apparently none have showed up because because of the rail strikes yesterday, the X1 to Coventry had been rammed full of people. And the X1, actually I'll just um, go back to YouTube for a sec. There we go. So the X1 to Coventry had been bypassing Birmingham Airport. Hope it's all over free. Was that the drink? Oh my God, cover your eyes, Tico. Yeah. Hell, it's called a bus. Right, yeah, but just checking the messages, see if there's no... So the X1s have been bypassing Birmingham International bus stop, the area, because they're being rammed full of people trying to get to Coventry because there's no trains. Thanks to Astleth being on strike. And there's an X1 that shows up about 10 to 7 going to Coventry. And it was rammed, and literally I was standing the whole way with Matt Slade and Warburg Productions from 
Birmingham Airport right through to Coventry. Even though we did get a seat for Warburton Productions, but Mickey standing the whole way. The bus was absolutely rammed. So yes, do not travel by bus on rail strike days if you can help it. But yeah, so it was a bit of a journey to get to Coventry yesterday, which is where I'm currently staying at in the COV. I've booked it for two nights, so I could do something railway related tomorrow from Coventry somewhere. I don't know what yet. I haven't planned it. Then you have to live stream by planning that and hopefully get something sorted for that. Right, let's have a look at the comments. By the way, Simon, that bus at the NEC, you know, you could have got a lift home. Yeah, but then I want to be going to the hotel, would I? And then I would have to come back tomorrow. See, I had the hotel booked, but then there was a rail strike happened for the fifth time. When something I had planned. Luckily, oh yes, there are rail strikes coming up and luckily I do have nothing planned for them. Because there's a rail strike on the 13th, 14th, 16th and 17th of December. And then the 3rd, 4th, 6th and 7th of January. So there is some rail strikes coming up and they are brutal to be honest with you. I can understand why they're striking and all that, but the dates though, 48 hour strikes, brutal, honestly. But that's, well, I've heard rumours that um, there was a deal supposed to be made on Monday, but they called the INT and out for the meeting and told them we're not making a deal. Because they think the government got involved. I don't know. I can't really tell you the whole story, but that's what I've seen over on the internet. And then the IMT decide, right, if you're going to mess us around, let's double the strikes to 48 hours. But anyway, that's the rail strikes. Oh, yes, also this week it has been announced that they're going to retire the Great Western Railway HSTs. So they will be going in 2023. I have heard rumours, though, they could be cascaded to ScotRail once they're done with the Western region, but I'm not too sure on that. Sorry, I've just finished off a coffee. Um, I read ScotRail has reached agreement. Yes, um, Transport for Wales and ScotRail do have agreements with RMT, and they accepted a pay deal, something like that. Um, no, says the problem is though the HSTs have been around a long time. They're actually, you could say, life expired. Forty odd years of service, and I know everyone loves the HSTs. I do love the HSTs, but you knew the day was going to come when they had to withdraw them. So they've slowly withdrawn them up to December twenty twenty three. Sadly, uh, yeah. And uh, Trade Boy five six seven seven. I heard that the rail strikes could go on until spring, according to the BBC. Yeah, it could do. It's because, I, in fact, I heard an article, a rumour, that government does have the, doesn't have the money to give them the pay rise. But I don't know how true that is or not. I'm spotted at Doncaster on the first day of the Cleefort's Liverpool service, which I believe is the 12th, says Sam, Autistic Cobra. Good evening, Sam. Yes, it's, well, it's technically the tie table changes on the 11th, but the 12th will be the Monday, and believe it or not, that's the only day you could do something railway, railway related, because the rest of the week you're going to be buggered with the rail strikes. Even that Thursday is going to be hard, because... Even though the first day is not a strike day, everything will be misplaced. Like when I was um, at Wally yesterday, there was actually three fifties in the platform at Birmingham International, just sitting there, cold, dead, doing nothing. Can we get political, please, as we try and keep this a trade chat only? Yeah, but technically the strikes is trade related. Yeah. Still get over two years out of the HST, says Mark Thompson. Good evening to you. Yes, Oscar Kerr, good evening to you as well. 
Yeah, so battered HSTs. It. I reckon they still got um, a good few years left in them, but cross country and Scott Rell will still have them. Um, Howie Wolf nine eight nine. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, Howie Wolf. But um, we did have a bad thirty minutes to start off with, with the connection being bad. But I was going to stay on till nine anyway, so this will be an hour long live stream. March West Junction TMD, good evening to you. Uh, still not travelled on the Scott Rail HST, says Amateur Moon. I think they're going to be in service till 2030. A Banty strikes on the 11th and 12th of December too. Oh, right. So anything with a Banty is pretty much buggered. Uh, I was stuck on the Bakerloo line for, age, for ages as the line was shut due to a fire alert in the Wembley area. That's interesting. What about the TFW sprinters, perhaps? I think they will be going to GWR. Tico. In fact, I have heard rumours that the Class 175s are going to Chiltern Railways. I don't know how true that is or not, but... Oscar Kirk, will you be out for the Nova Freeze on the Cleef Horse Liverpool at some point after the 12th? Probably not December, but I probably will be after, in the new year or something like that. Because I haven't really planned what I'm going to do for the new year yet. Um, well, that's a shame. I hope it's well, Yeah, it's working now. It's all right. Um, oh, well. Chat's jumped. Um, cross country will keep using the HSTs till they fall apart. Rare to see any funding into trades from that cross country, says JK216. Well, there's rumours that they'll be getting the Avanti ones and possibility the Meridians want the 810s are in service, but I don't know if that's going to happen or not. If we fail them HST right at some point next year, says Sam, yeah. Live Street Rise, good evening to you. Up here anyway, but what's got rail get me with 158, says Amateur Moon. It's possible. Um they can have the 175, says Mark Thompson. Yeah. The 150 slash sprinter is scheduled to move to Sheffield where the timetable changes. Yes. Park Green is a fantastic station to go to, says West Wes Midland 323. Is that supposed to be West Midlands or is it West Midlands? Because I'll tell you what, that's West West Midlands. That's a good name, actually. Bark Green is a good place. I can agree with that. Cabwell 86, good evening to you. Um, yes, the Merseyrail peps are only the peps that have been non-stop consistently travelling. Um, so Bidover number two will probably spend the last days in Manchester on the 10th of December. It's possible. You don't know, they could be cascaded later on. I've seen the 158s up here and they are busy in Blessed Aberdeen boots. I did that route on a 170, I think, from in Blessed Aberdeen. I'm sure I did that on a 170. So, photo beloved in Manny will be before the 77 China Septis. I've been to Blake Street, says West Midland 323. I've actually been to all the cross city line stations because I have done um, a two part series with Joe on the move for that. With Al Church, Al Church, not Albert Church, Al Church. I said to that change above the coast. There's an overtime ban on Christmas and New Year's, too. Staff aren't allowed to work extra, so there's possible train cancellations. Yeah, I did read about that as well. We still have the one series and see more one five eights working them though. It's just HSTs now. I really want to see forty three one eight four in the intercity executive livery. I've not seen that yet myself as well. I've not seen that one yet. Forty three one eight four. Um, just gonna have a drink, just some sparkling water. I'll have it in a cup. Just give me a sec. Tell you what, we did have that Wi-Fi problem. We could have um, 
go through some more stuff railway related. But yeah, so I think it's my phone that doesn't like it, probably because I've had it on all day. But I've literally filmed all the Wally stuff on my phone as well. Ah, Trainboy5677 says, I wonder about the 730s on the LNWR. I think they'll be 2023, late 2023. Because what's happening is they're going to be using the um, West Midlands Class 323s to work on the Tring Northampton services for LNWR. And I notice it's um, gone. Oh, it's all right now. So, at the moment, Stephen Hunt, good evening to you. So, at the moment, they're using the West Midlands free, the West Midlands seven thirty. Sorry, to work the seven thirties. We'll go. Up, we'll go up to the Midlands, and they will work Warsaw to Wolverhampton services first, apparently. So that's what's going to happen. I think it's a way to get rid of the three one nines. Um, you're so lucky that you live in the Bergen Rouge since the Liverpool, you mostly have the normal Mersey Rail and Northern services, except a Banty West Coast, EMR, LWR, and TPE. The problem is on strike days, and this is a big problem as well, is that we get nothing out of Rougely. Both Rougie stations will get nothing. Even when they're not on strike, because the first day on the 15th, there's not a strike happening. Because everything's so messed up, they just still don't run any trains. Um, by Mr. 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 Posh, Barkley, Water and Glass, yes. I can't even say that word. Sophisticated. It was like saying nuki yesterday. Nuki. I always said nuclear. It's like nuki. It's like Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury, I say. Oh, I tell you what. I don't know, but I think my um, pronunciations is going right down the toilet. I wonder if the C2, C720 is well into service next year, possibly. Um, I know Barrow C has gave me a £5 super chat. Thank you very much, Barrow C. Uh, yep, no message. Thank you very much for the generous donation, Barrow C. Um, I might need Billy's replacement Wi Fi. <laughs> um, Rick, Ro Rick Roll, Rick Ashley. Good evening to you. Um, I have Rick rolled you because I'm not at a railway station. We're in a Premier Inn, which is just right behind me there. So I'm because I've wedged the um, phone on the camera. It's a bit dark. There we go. So you just see the top of a Premier Inn. Um, Oscar Kirk. All oh, right, you have the answer. Thanks, Tika. All right. Uh, long complicated word that yes. Um, oh, bloody hell. Oh, there it comes, Rick Roll. Yes, Live Street Rives uh, says hello. That would be a great shot, one idiot, Tico. One fifty double one in front of the Peniston sign. Um, West Midlands 323 says, How are you? I'm good, thank you. Cheese Bowie says, Trade. Boy, five, six, seven, seven. Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury. Um, that's that's bad. Nothing from either station. I say reincarnated or inherited, incinerated being in jail. Um, um it's all right, I'm looking at the chat. Because usually I look at the chat here. Oh, where's the chat? I can't find the chat. Live chat, let's have a look. Yeah, there's a chat there. So I don't know, the chat's not showing up on the phone, but luckily I've got it on my laptop. Um Premier is my favorite hotel. Goose Lord says Rick Roll Rick Ashley. 
Perfect Premier Brew will be the brew with the West Coast Bay Live view. I'm not in that uh, travel lodge actually. I'm, I've got the ring road next to me. In fact, my travel lodge is more to the bus station than the railway station. It's about a 10 15 minute walk. Um, but it's only seven minutes from the bus station, but you haven't played my song. See, if I, I would do it, but I won't, I will get it. But, um, YouTube be like, that's the thing, I would play the song, but YouTube would demonetize this. Um, what else? Hopefully when the 730s on West Midlands train launch, I get there and the stations won't be disrupted the whole like last time. Yeah, I know you did have problems with the 196 Sam. Um, copyright, yeah, copy. Well, they will copyright the video, but I won't get a copy, a strike against it. They just demonetize this live stream. That's all they do. And um, there's a travel lodge in rugby with a view of rugby station. Yes, I have stayed there before. That's where I would have stayed at, but um, I decided to go for Coventry instead. In fact, Coventry, the city itself, it's a bit, it's like in three different uh, regions. you got like the posh Tudor houses, you got your offices and all that, and you got your modern stuff and you got your brutalist stuff. That's what I think about Coventry. It's just like in a different time zone. Um, Tewkesbury Premier is a mid-miles from Ashchurch Station, yes. Our Premier is on the most in the middle of the street near the uh, Morrison's and on the main road heading south. Oh, actually needed for Premier Wi-Fi. Um, give me a sec, because apparently I've got a... I've got no internet on the Premier Wi-Fi. I hope it doesn't conk out on the phone. Yeah, now I'm back in connected, so I should be all right. There we go. Right. Um, yeah, I'll just type some. Oh, my. I hope he doesn't do it on this phone. Actually. No, I'm connected. What are you talking about? Just see. Even Malik, good evening to you. Yeah, see, I said hello. Ah. Oh. Um. Yeah, I'm not getting the chat up now. There we go. I've got that up. Oh, shut up, you praying. There, put you on mute. All the spot videos. Good evening to you. Still connected, yeah. Um, clearest picture yet now, says Aventure Moon. Um, yes, Eve Manic, good evening to you. I prefer Birmingham's tree law, yeah. Yeah, I want to... Hello for the second time, yes. Um, I did have 40 in the chat, but now it's got down to 26, oh well. But yeah, I was actually planning to do a live stream today. Uh, what else was in the thingy? Oh, yes, there's actually something that I just remembered, actually. Fever Rail. It looks like they've gone into administration, which is a real shame. The ones that do the D train, the class 230s. But um, apparently it's not affecting what they're going to do with the Greenford brand. That's still going to happen from 2023 now when they're going to be using the D train on the downloading update are you downloading update right now when i took my live stream if you downloaded update phone or me and you phone are going to have words um yes yeah. even well in, in administration yeah apparently that's uh, what i've heard so Beaver Rail looks like they're going to administration. So, but the Greenford project, which they're going to use the 230 on, is still going ahead, but it's going to be 2023 when that happens. 
Uh, did you buy much at Wally? I brought three books, a pin badge, and a fridge magnet. In fact, I'll show you what I brought uh, now. I brought a couple of DVDs and a book. The book is over here, which I'll there. And excuse me a sec. The DVDs are here, still backed up. I'll show you what I've got now in a, in a sec after we talk about the Beaver Rail. So yes, uh, don't know if the class three, four, fives were on DC modes on the tunnel because when I was on the Elizabeth line, I could tell they didn't change. No, no um, trade boy, five, six, seven, seven. They still run on electric, the overhead wires. But the thing is though, whether, and I even noticed this with Jeff Marshall's video, is that they run automatic through the tunnel. So the driver, all he does, he sits there like that. Still has to press a few buttons like to make sure and check the monitors, but the train drives itself through the tunnel between Westbourne Park and Stratford. They're still driving in there because he's got to keep eye on things. Yeah, so they run by themselves through the tunnels. Computer. Oh, yes, Jeff Marshall, the side of the railways, yes. So they just basically run automatic computer controlled through the tunnels. I still haven't rode the LMWR 230. I have done it once, but I remember that I didn't really experience the ride because I was too busy on my laptop to try and get the video uploaded. Right. I thought it was Cyber and UTK, yes. Hope they do a mobile farewell tour. They should do. They definitely should do. Drivers trains like the DLR. A bit amateur, but after they get to Stratford or Westbourne Park, they do actually drive it themselves. Because the Great Western Main Line and the uh, Great Eastern Main Line are not computer controlled. But they do have a lot of different signaling systems on that as well, apparently. Um, pain mate, absolutely nightmare pain with stuff, yeah. So it's AC mode then. Yes, it's overhead wires through the tunnels. I'm not a uh, savage, just a madman from Mordor. Right. Um, probably Mersey Rail farewell tour. The Branch Dive Society do a Mersey Rail tour every single year. So would it be worth it? That's a good question. They do one every year, yeah. In January. So would it be worth it? If there's a Mersey Rail farewell tour, I'll definitely look into it as I'm still waiting for the triple service to enter service. Apparently, I had heard there is a date for the triple service to enter service. But I don't know what that date is. Because I was actually told that somebody actually told another person the date but they didn't want to announce the date that was told in confidence. So I can't tell you when they entered service. I think, because um, I was chatting with um, Matt Slade this morning on the train from Coventry to Birmingham International. Uh, Matt Slade's another YouTuber. And he said, I think the two free ones, the flirts, might enter service in, in a few weeks' time. That's what he was saying, but I don't know if that's true or not. But So the two free ones could enter service pretty soon. If they are, I think it might be the, we don't know what route, but it could be the Cheltenham routes. If it is, I might, um, oh no, I've already done Cheltenham, have I, and Gloucester. We'll see anyway. Right. They seem to announce it last minute about trains entered service law. Yes. I went to Chester by Liverpool South Parkway on the same train every two hours on the Halton Curb with TFW and found out their 153s are very stuffy and they stink. Branch Line Society Tour expected to be 16th of January for the next Mersey Rail Peps. Do the next tour could be the farewell tour strongly. Yes. Every time people say triple sevens, I think of planes. Tell them, yeah, because they'd be replacing the turbo stars on the 
my stack services. Chat with my stacks. You day bay by air again, damn it. Right. I'll show you what I brought from Wally. But the only book I brought is this one right here. Middleton Press. Good books, these are. East Croydon to Epsom. And it also includes the Epsom Down Branch. Where was this book when I needed it, when I did the Epsom Down Branch? And just to show you as well, because I did mention this in the video for Epsom Downs, and people did say that... Um, I, they can't imagine that with nine platforms. Can you see that? That is Epsom Downs Railway Station at its heyday. I'll just uh, leave it there for a second so you can see it. So there you go. There's Epsom Downs Railway Station at its heyday. And now it's just one platform. That was 1907 for the signal box. I have the books for the models, says Trainboy5677. Yeah, sometimes they do like, oh, to be honest, how big that station was, says Malik. Yes. So there you go. That is Epsom Downs Railway Station in its heyday. Which I should actually could put a photo in there, to be honest. <clears throat> Steve, it's like how the line had them. Yes. Um, absolutely, those yellow box cube trades on Mersey Rail have been placed in Beloveds. Apparently, I've just got a message saying, enter your name, you could win £40. No thanks. So, yes, yeah, so that's the only book I've got, which is the Rest Croydon to Epsom line. From Middleton Press, and I do like these books. I've actually got a little bit of the collection. Oh, yes, um, I've got a few leaflets as well from future modern rally shows that I might be playing in the future. Uh, but yeah, they show you some good old photos in this book. Um, like I didn't know, Yield East, which is one of my favorite stations, actually had a single box on the platform there. But yeah, I do like these books, to be honest. So that's the only book I've got. And then let's move on to the DVDs. Now, I was surprised, actually, because Video Scene was not at Wally this year. I know they used to usually come to Wally every year. However, though, I did get their uh, Big Freight 24, which is one that I did need. So I got myself a Big Freight DVD. Oh, I have got the collection up to 23. So I needed 24. And this cost £10. And that's from the Book Law publication stand, this was. So I've actually got this cheaper than what Video C would have paid for it. So that's one of the DVDs I got. The other two, though, are cab rides. Now, Video 125 was there. And I'll just uh, show you their logo. Video 125. And they do some lovely uh, cab rides. They gave me a guide as well. All the cab rides they've done. And so you can have cab rides for um, the Settle Carlisle, the Cumbrian Coast, not to good to Skegness. Uh, the Northern Transpennine. Uh, what else have they got? The Nicky Voyager. I actually got that DVD. The Cross City Line. This one I will get actually because they do have, when entering Nitchfield City Station, an old slam door unit passing the 323. Uh, the Mid the May Line. So it's just about. Oh, it's uh, the latest the latest releases. Uh, Peds as Exeter. I was thinking of getting that, actually. Um, 
Middlesbrough's Whitby, I was thinking about that as well. Though they've got all sorts of capitalites that are really enjoyable. Eddie for Glasgow by Shots and Falkirk High. But yeah, so, but they had this offer on for Wally. Buy a DVD, get a DVD free. So basically, I brought one DVD and paid £25 for it and walked away with two DVDs. So the first one here, I've got the Cotswolds on the Malvin line with a HST. This is from Oxford to Hereford. So I've got that. So basically I paid for one. And the other one I got free and I decided, you know what? Let's say I get the Chilton May line. A 68 driver's eye view. <laughs> Uh, you see Tico's live stream with the 68, which um, ended up having an awkward derailment. The 68, hellfire. Absolutely hellfire. I might see them tomorrow, actually. I don't know yet. So they're the two DVDs I brought from video 125. Anyway, I'm going back to the chat now because um, I have literally gone away from the chat for a few minutes. I'll just pack this away and I'll come and join you in the chat to um, see what you're saying. Um, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Scar alert, lol. Yes. I love episode now when they see this 455 slash 8. I think I saw some of that as well. I did have a deed to Ash Church. I would almost do cross country route. Yeah. Tico, you need to count how many times he takes a drink. I've only spent £23 at Wally on the books, lol. Um, by the time I've done, I think it was only like £36 because the book was £6. The DVD was £25. Yeah. No, £41 I've only spent. But I'm surprised Video 125 was there. But there was a few layouts that were listed here as well that weren't there as well. Uh, there's one there I've called Crew Lyle, which is a crew, but with the Lyle from Carlisle attached to it. And that was supposed to be on Stand E1, but that wasn't there. Dude, you kill it, says Ian. Uh, more books in the hole. Um, oh, is that in the new one? Which one? The I think the HST is an old one, but the 68 might be a newish one. Um, yes, see you, Oscar Kirk. Um, see you later. I love video 125. I have a bath collection. Collected since 2005. Got a lot of video, so video 125 stuff. Um, the Underground Epic with Rob Curley. I do have some Underground ones, actually. I watch video 125 as they have the Underground as well, yes. I've um, still got the Licky... Boy, doing videotape, says Tico, apart from DVD. Um, got the Cotswold one, Berry Goose. Have to go at Wally and Must next year, and Melissa turn up and go and get some attend, yeah. In fact, um, I actually bumped into uh, Chris Eden Green yesterday at Wally. So we've finally actually crossed paths, and very nice person, very nice person indeed. But, um, yeah, we were having like a chat as well. But um, th there was a lot of people that I chatted to yesterday and today. Like, Iron Horse Railways, all about trades. I think that's the channel name. Uh, Peter Jackson, Cheadle Heath, I bumped into. Um, I bumped into Northern Princess 57305, which I know him anyway. Because I do uh, chat sometimes on Facebook. Um, Sam Blogs Trades More, like I mentioned. Jenny Kirk, because she was um, holding a Monday Club live stream. No. Why is there a live stream where it's a meetup? Um, Iron Horse Railway, another YouTuber. There was a lot of people I met from YouTube at the show. Um, Baggy's TMD, because he, the Trent Valley. Um, 
Mother Rail Society was there. Um, but oh, people that I have chatted to today, it's very nice that I chatted to you all, but very nice indeed. Um, see the bill to press book was six pounds, yes. Um, but um, well, yeah, it's live stream, you always can't get it perfect on a live stream, as we know for the last 13 minutes of this live stream. Well, the first 13 minutes, I say, heat up more like yes. Oh, yes, the uh, Wally stuff, I'm going to be starting to upload that Tuesday because the Wi Fi. It's pretty much rubbish at uploading here. I'll try and get Kentington Addison Road uploaded for tomorrow or maybe late tonight. But any Wally related videos will be uploaded from Tuesday onwards. And there's going to be about, I think, six videos plus a Swiss special, so seven videos. I might not do them like in parts, I might do them in like episodes. Like, uh, it's all right, because I write down the ones I've done. So I could literally go through about 50, no, I've done 26 on day one and 25 on day two. So I've only seen 51 layouts out of so many. But I see Dead Man's Lane, Fen Marsh Depot, Kirby Stephen West, Kensington Addison Road, Hayside, um, Hazard County, but I think that's Hortus Road, Bryan Street, Italia layout, seven Swiss layouts. In fact, there's one Swiss layout that actually confused me because when I went to film one, it said number, 20, number 1913. I'm thinking, hang on. Have I filmed that layout? But there's a 2013. There's actually two of the same layout next door to each other, 100 years apart, which was impressive. <coughs> um, Old Gate Hill, I filmed. Smallwood. Plumpton Green, which was a good layout, actually. I saw um, Callum Wilcox's layout. I mean, it's 1918. He's... Um, SDJR88 on YouTube. So there was some good layouts that I've filmed, but there's some that weren't there because they... Um, oh, yes, I even see the Web with Audrey one, Farquhar. Because that layout was there, and it's interesting how they operate that because they operate the layout, but you, that guy's got a piece of paper. It's literally narrating from the paper. So it's like... Thomas the Tank Engine arrives at Farquhar Station with the 6 o'clock from Natford. Interesting, though. Very interesting. Oh, I think the chat's... Um... Yeah, the web with Audrey layout was brilliant, says Ruben. Yeah, oh, yeah, I bumped into Ruben. Hi, Ruben. How can we forget Ruben? How can we forget Ruben? Um... Yeah, Ruben was there in day one. Because there's a picture of me with myself, Ruben Ashwell, and Chris Eason Green in the same photo. I might upload that one later. Damn it, Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> I'll tell you what, actually. Thomas um, was trying to go with some points. But he got stuck on the points. And I wanted to say, you have caused confusion and delay. Hey, Krishna, good evening to you. Goodbye to you, because the the message got retracted. But no, um, <clears throat> cannot forget the lesser legend of Ruben, yes. He's too busy seeing if Al's going to work, that's why. But have we had any post Ruben on Sunday? Um, to our... Yes, UD again smashing it, brilliant. I felt like I filled the same out twice, yeah. Um, yes, hello, Ruben, I did say. So for some bizarre reason, my 4G signal is goose on trays in the middle of nowhere. 
I cannot explain it. Um, I do the counting and it's an inside joke between me and Simon. Yeah, it is actually because uh, if you check Tico's videos in the blogs, it literally puts a big count up down below. Um, let's see who else. Oh, there we go. Don't worry, I've Rick Roll Thomas the Tag Engine. <laughs> Oh, so top of hat would it be pleased, lol. Good to hear. Started a course with Glasgow Uni in January, says Abitron. The fat controller was not impressed. Indeed. Uh, Tico the controller. Um, but yes, bloody hell, it's nearly nine o'clock. Now, would you like me to end at 9 o'clock or would you like me to carry on till 21.13 to make up for the mistake that happened in the first 13 minutes? Why get a drink? It's 20.59, says Old. Oh, yes, this is uh, the question. Because I was planning to live stream for an hour, but with the technical difficulties, I'm willing to go till that... 2113. You go on as long as you like. If that's all right with you, that's all right with me. So we'll go on to 2113, then I'll call it quits. Because then I'm going to start editing the videos for Marley. Just the way as apologizing for the first 13 minutes. Twenty-one nineteen. Um, no, twenty-one thirteen. So I'm going for another thirteen minutes. Um, I would have gone, mate, but seriously, would have had emotional goodbye to the below is three one five. Says Peppy, a new fan. Yeah. Carry on, mate, so I can rick roll all of you. <laughs> Battery saver on my laptop. Hang on a sec. There we go. Uh, we're watching these streets without the interruptions of trains going past. Yeah. I could have done the live stream at Coventry Railway Station. And there was some interesting movements because there was some Pendidios working Trent Valley services through Coventry because I think the Trent Valley shut. Are you watching the judge, yes or no? The jungle. Oh, I'm a celeb. I don't give one about that. Sorry, but I have watched I'm a Celeb for ages, and they're not actually celebs. Um, and the interruptions and announcements as well, yes. Um, actually, my live stream is so far behind, I've only just taken a drink of water. Um, I'm editing my wallet videos as you live stream, yes. Um, oh, yes, yeah, someone's asked about the Christmas special. Where are you going for your Christmas special this year? I don't know yet. It's not planned. But I have to work. In fact, um, I did mention this in a midweek community post that the life that I'm going to have to work about the strikes, I can do it. But I won't have to work about the strikes. So, in fact, let me get my calendar up. So tomorrow I'm filming something for, excuse me, the 11th. So the 5th or 6th of December, I'm going to have to film something for the 18th. The 12th of December, I will have to film the Christmas special then. And then the 19th and 20th, I do actually have a... Um, overnight stay somewhere, which I because I've got plans for that day, which is um private at the moment, but a few people do know about the plans. But I do have got somewhere plans for the 19th and the 20th of December, so I'm planning to film the New Year's special on the 20th of December. So that's how I'm working around it with the strikes because, as we know, there's strikes on the Tuesday the 13th of December, Wednesday the 14th of December, 
Oh, there's no live stream that week as well, unfortunately. The 16th of December, the 17th of December, and then the 3rd of January, the 4th of January, the 6th of January, and the 7th of January. But in fact, I'll then um, pop over. I'll show you actually now because there is a. So I posted this four days ago, but you can read it for yourselves. But I do write on the community tab here. Like I gave you the link for last week's video, the live stream, which I did say I was planning for Sunday, maybe eight, which is doing now. Uh, live stream reminder about Wally, rail strikes, and I just put a photo of next week's. That's the photo for Tuesday's video there, which is Best Got Stadium. In fact, I'll get onto that right now because. Tuesday's video, in fact, um, someone's left a comment. In fact, I'll show you it right now, actually, because it is up on YouTube. I haven't edited yet. Um, I might just upload it on the day, so I do apologise if you don't get advanced view to all channel members and Patreon. It will load. It's all right. In the meantime, I'll just um, put it there. Um... Oh, yes. I like the 88, says all the spotted videos. Bills, good evening to you. What adventure are you on? I've literally just come back from two days from the Wally Motorola exhibition. It did go ahead this year. It's at the NEC in Birmingham, and it was a pretty good event. But tomorrow will be to something railway-related. Fill your mind on the 7th of December, said Tico. Will be fun for Crimbo presents. Getting in cities. Uh, New December timetables out to the 11th. Saw you post cyber out doing live stream on Wednesday after the December timetable change. Yeah. Uh, Max put the dates for the rail strikes. Yes. Um, feel free to do so, Rick. Did you see Matt? Is that Matt Slade, Bills? Because if it's Matt Slade, yes. In fact, uh, I don't think you were here earlier, but I'll tell you a quick story about myself, Matt Slade, and Warbler Productions, which used to be Garfian on here. Because I was coming back, because I was going to the hotel from the NEC yesterday with the rail strikes happening. There's no trains to Coventry. So I had to get the X1 down to Coventry. Um. So, got to the bus station at Birmingham Airport, and Matt Slade was there with Warbler Productions. Oh, Matt from TS World. Yes, he was there, but I didn't speak to him. I don't really bother with their train to world stand. Anyway, I'll tell this story, because if you weren't here earlier, I'll just repeat the story. So, myself, Matt Slade, and Warbler Productions, we were at um, the bus station waiting for the X1 to Coventry. Now, some weren't showing up because they were bypassing Birmingham Airport because they were full standing with commuters trying to get to Coventry for Birmingham because there's no trains. So the, the half past six skipped Birmingham Airport. I literally saw it on bustimes.org. Yes, I do know about that website. And the next one shows up about 10 to 7. Got on the bus and it was rammed. The bus was absolutely rammed. The X1 is a packed route, says Platform Edge. Yeah, it was absolutely rammed. I don't know if you seen it earlier, but... Um, oh, yes, the picture's still here. That's the picture I took on the X1. <laughs> and, um, yes, I think uh, Daniel Turner's filmed the 315s. Meanwhile in London, yeah... I know that's upset a lot of people that because of the rail strikes. Oh, yes, and Jill Nauru says, Subway coffee, are you desperate? Yes, I was desperate because it was either, oh, sorry, it was either pay £2.40 for that coffee 
or pay four pounds for the NEC's coffee. In fact, I'll tell you something actually, because the NEC's meal deal was absolutely bonkers. So you could have a sandwich, and because a packet crisps, something else, and two cans of pop for fifteen pounds. That's how much they would charge their meal deal. Um, hello, Fallaby thirty-seven. Sorry if I'm late. Um, no, you're right, actually. Feel free to drop in every time you like. We'll just go to about quarter past nine because the first 13 minutes of this video, we just had internet troubles. Apparently, my phone internet is pretty rubbish in the Premier Inn. So, good job, brought lunch from Tesco's. Yeah, exactly. Bring your own lunch. £15 for what? <laughs> Uh, a bit steep, I mean, seriously steep, but rip off, yes. And you think, Tico, McDonald's were the dirty, evil, robbing. That's worse. Are you planning to go on the one seven nine soon? Yes, um, I will be going on them soon, but I don't know when. I'll probably do that when they do the Liverpool services, like the first one nine seventy service in England. I went to Subway in the LEC and it was expensive. Nine pounds. What? Nine fifty for a meal deal. And it's like six pounds in the high street. Are you traveling back tomorrow? Yes, I'll be filming a video tomorrow. And then I'm traveling back after that. I had a Mackey's for breakfast on the way down, says Ruben. So did I. Um... The only problem is, though, when I'm filming a blog to buy, I have to got my griddle pod. So, thank you one sec. But I do have the camcorder on me. So, basically, I'm going to have to film it literally like this tomorrow. Because I don't have the griddle pod to hold it like that. If I had the griddle pod, I would hold it... D. Oh, fast! If I do that, there we go. So if I had the griddle pod, I would hold it like that. But on the griddle pod stick, I don't have that on me, so I'm literally gonna have to film it like this. It might be a bit shaky, but it should be all right. I'll park that there for a sec. But if I see a fence, like a platform edge, I'll just. Stick it on there and just do it that way. The ADC is dirty, evil Robin, yes. I've also heard that um, the ADC could be get going because they want to promote Disney on ice or Disney there. I don't know if that's true or not. I've only my pace of 144 seat to my channel, says Bills. Can everyone guess what one of the motorways I went down was? Oh, yes, um, said Ruben. I know it was on the M42. So, all right, I wanted to show you next week's video. No, this Tuesday's video, but this will be the last Tuesday video because there'll be a video Tuesday and then I'll go back to Sundays. I haven't edited yet, but it's there. It won't be called Best of Diverts. But that's Tuesday's video sitting there. But the Murray's draft. So it's not up on YouTube yet. Unfortunately, I might not be able to give the channel members an advanced viewing of that. Because uh, by the time I get it sorted, I think it'll be Monday night and it's going up Tuesday. Um, that video went out yesterday, the 315 video, which is currently all right, actually. Got about uh, 620 views, 21 wins. And yes, it's got two dislikes, but I don't care about them. Do what you want with the dislikes. It's interaction that counts. And last Tuesday's video is here. Never a door trip on the Selby to Hall line. Which, um, put you, put you back over. So yes, so this Tuesday's video, will be 
Pancreate. Pancreate. Tabridge Parkway at Bescott Stadium. So basically, the Trent Valley Line was shut during that week and they were diverted a bounty service through Tabridge and Bescott. So that's what I've them. Um, oh, yeah, I've put you back on the live stream so I can read the chat. 21.13 now, yes, I'm going to go in two minutes, Arnold. So that's basically this Tuesday's video that I'll be watching. Dislike to get Rick rolled, yes. Um, M69. <laughs> yes, so I have finally done the Penkridge to Tabridge Parkway video, which I meant to do in the summer, but I couldn't because the trades were playing up. So that's this Sunday's video. And then if I'm live streaming this Saturday, I'll let you know. But Sunday's video, because I'll be going back to Sunday. Did I see the video of the 315 farewell, says Mason? No. That was filmed in August. But um, what I did was I travelled on the Shenfield Metro at the time. So Shenfield to Liverpool Street. So I could get a video in for the farewell day. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, yes, uh, Penkridge Biden. No, I haven't. I need to do that the next time I go to Penkridge. Due to electric wires near Wolverhampton, yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Oh, yes, Sunday's video. Because, in fact, before I go, I'll let you know why I was play uploading on Tuesdays. Because I was thinking about moving them to Tuesday permanently. But to be honest, it's not really a good idea. Because... I know it's on Sunday, it's all about the abandoned videos, like White Wicks with their dish stations, Martin Zero with his abandoned buildings or travelling on canals. Um, so I was thinking Sunday was more like the abandonment kind of videos. I noticed on Friday that the rail travellers upload theirs, like Super Owls, Dylan Travel Trip Reports, and I think Midland London as well. So I thought, well, most of the bloggers upload on Tuesday, so I thought I'd join them and see if, what happens. But the videos underperform, but they underperform, but then they go to normal, as if I like on a Sunday. But on a Sunday, they go like that. So it's a bit different. So that's why I wanted to do it as an experiment, but it's not worked. So the videos will be going back to Sundays, the blogs. Um, yes, it's 21.16. So Sunday's video will be, it was filmed on the 7th of November during the rail, well, rail strikes. But it's all about the 1962 tube stock train that runs on the central line, rail adhesion train. So we'll be chasing that on Sunday. Right. It is 21.16. I did say I was going to be on to a quarter past, so... I will be, I'll just read the comments quick and then I'm going to go. I swear that bridge at Tabish Parkway is an aqueduct. Yes, it is. Uh, we'll be doing my video on the 315 farewell towards there's loads about to upload Mason. To be honest, I just put the upload whenever. Um, yeah, that's a good plan, Sam, but sometimes you want to get the attention. You try and upload something on the day. Like, people have their own ways of doing it. Like, I should upload a Wally video today when it was relevant, but because of the Wi-Fi being rubbish, it's going to be a few days now. Um, Ian R, good evening to you and good night to you as well. Uh, be the also live stream for the first 13 minutes. But yes, I am going to go now because it is 2117. I did say I was going to be on till about four past roughly to give you the extra 13 minutes that was playing up. So it has really been fun. If you have got this far with the live stream, feel free to give this a thumbs up, subscribe. It's always appreciated if you subscribe and it's always free as well. Um, do hit the notification bell. In fact, hang on. Oh, where's the bell? They got rid of the bell. 
Oh no, I don't have it on mine, do I? Anyway, it has really been a brilliant live stream. So I might live stream at Rushi Trent Valley Friday or Saturday next this week coming up. So that be the next live stream. So all fixed till the end of the live stream, yes. So the, I'll just check if there's any more comments that I'm gonna go. But no, I think I would say goodbye now. So see you later. Good night, Ruben. Like and subscribe, comment. Thanks for the live stream, says Fall to be. Take care. Yeah. Super says T D. Good evening to you and goodbye because I'm pitchy fish now. Sorry, but later's bye. Um, I'm more setting off now, yeah, so everyone wants to go now, so yeah, I'm ending this now. Thank you for watching this live stream. Take care, stay safe. I'll see you Friday or Saturday from Rushi Trent Valley when we do normal get interrupted by announcements, trains passing by, and so forth. So see you, everyone. Take care. I'm going to start editing the Wally video so I can start uploading them Tuesday. Take care, stay safe. Big one. Bye, all spotting. Bye, Pep. Take care, Mr. Tika says Amitrim. Big one. Oh, and if you were at Wally during the past two days, thank you for the. Just thank you in general. Thank you because it has really been a privilege talking to people there and everything. So take care, see you soon. Thank you for the super chat, Barry C, and thank you for the moderators for live streaming.